Morning guys. Today I'll be installing the uh, Firestone airbags on my 2019 Tundra TRD. And uh, I bought those because uh, we're planning on getting a uh, sliding camper for my truck. So uh, I had seen some videos on YouTube um, to where they install the airbags and it helps with the uh, suspension. So I figured I'd give it a try. It's the uh, Firestone airbags and uh, see how it goes. I've seen some videos on uh, YouTube, so I'm going to give it a try today. So I got the uh, lower brackets. Here's some of the hardware twist. So these are for a heat shield when you run your lines over the muffler. Or the... These are the brackets that go underneath here. We got the air hose. We got the airbags themselves. This is the upper bracket. All the hardware. I am missing one of these. Looks like the bag was already open. And uh, some of the stuff was just laying uh, in the, on the bottom of the box uh, here's all the instructions so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, lift the, the truck I got an old jack here I'm gonna see if it still works and I got the uh, jack stand and I don't have a garage or anything so hopefully it won't sink into the asphalt when I lift it but I'm gonna take the tire off first also have to measure the distance from the floor to the bottom of my fender, which is going to be about 39 and an eighth. 39 and an eighth is the distance between the, the ground and the bottom of my fender. So when I do buy my camper, I can air air up the uh, airbags and bring it up to 39 and 8 so it can be nice and level. Since my jack's not working I went ahead and used the jack that came with the truck and I put a little uh, jack stand there. So let me go ahead and take off that tire. Got the tire off now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with my saw saw and might as well clean my chocks since I'm here. Make sure there's nothing back here. Looks nice and clean. Next I'm gonna take the uh, this bolt off. It's for the uh, fuel pump control module that's in there and that's just a, a 10 millimeter oh no I think it's 12 millimeter here's the uh, fuel pump control I just leave the nut right here because uh, I think there's gonna be a bracket here that attaches to this that'll probably be the last thing I do I'm going to install the lower bracket to the airbag and just leave it loose because I have to fit it underneath uh, the truck. I'm going to do that for right now, but don't tighten that one down. You have to line it up. Top bracket has uh, these two holes right here. Uh, this one is for the stud right here. That's where the air fitting goes. This one is, is uh, just the like anti-spin that fits right here. So when you, uh, we're gonna dry fit it for right now. Once I install it down there, I will do some marks here and here according to the manual. And then I can take it back out and go ahead and tighten down here, two specs. So let me go down there and do that. Is 
there it is. Okay, those two little, let me see if I can show you down here. These are those little uh, stud looking things. They're in their places. The anti-spin, of course you can't see it, but it's in there. Now I have to line these up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these right here. And you can see that mark it right here, and probably right here. Here's the marks that I made down there. And that ensures that once I put it back in, it's going to be properly aligned, hopefully. Because as you can see down here, it does have a little bit of wiggle room where you can move it back and forth. So, very important that you mark those two. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in and see if it's lined up. Just the FYI, I did have to turn this little bracket upside down because it was hitting this and I'll show you on the other side what I mean uh, but uh, I did have to undo this take the wire out uh, uh, pull out the clip turn it because it, and then put it back in and put the wire in and push that back closed okay so I installed the nut the washer nut and then the air fitting this was kind of hard, but uh, now I'm going to install the hose and check for leaks. When I connected the air hose, I ran it up through the frame, zip tied there, up over the frame, and through this wire harness right here up through this part of the frame came about three here and uh, let me show you where I put the fitting here's where I install my fitting for the left side driver side passenger side is going to go over here on this side so now I'm going to inflate it go ahead and air it up and see if it's going to leak I have installed this little uh, brake controller back using one of the brackets. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see where it clears the uh, hose. So it won't be in the oil. Not even touching, so. We are finished installing the airbags on my Tundra, and uh, I remeasured. The distance from the ground to the fender, it's about half inch taller. My PSI on my airbags is 6 on one side and 6.5 on this side. So uh, it took me quite a, about maybe two hours, two hours and a half to install them. Uh, but hopefully uh, this video helps out somebody. Uh, now I just need to wait and look for a uh, slide-in camper. Right now I'm running a rooftop tent. So uh, hopefully this video, like I said, hopefully this video helped out somebody on an installation of the uh, uh, airbags on the 19 Tundra. Anyway, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you liked the video.